Hello and welcome back to the SRL Mines. It's the Melbourne Ravens taking on the Perth Hogs. I'm your SRL Mines Commissioner, Will K. Join in the commentary box by that man from the last game, this from Swarm, Eddie Oliver. And we're looking forward very much to this game. Eddie, how are you feeling for this matchup here? Uh, good day, K. Excellent game of footy coming up here today. It's, I reckon it's going to be a nice matchup here. Both teams got have some amazing rookies coming into the first season here of the Mines. It's going to be interesting to see how both teams play out, but I reckon we've got a good game on our hands. I reckon we've got a fantastic game tonight at Amy Park. It's the Melbourne Ravens and the Perth Hogs, both newcomers to the league. Obviously, the Melbourne Ravens already having a team prior, that being the Firehawks, South Melbourne Firehawks. They've been rebranded the Ravens while the uh, Firehawks move up to Cairns. And the Perth Hogs, completely new location and a uh, new team name. Uh, as a growth area has been recognised in Perth for the league, as we have, it's going to be Callahan, Bradley Callahan, kicking off for the Hogs, and uh, Tyler Doonan goes to Cameron King for the first run of the Melbourne Ravens' careers. Now we're looking forward to this matchup tonight. They've been very anticipated within the camps. The Perth Hogs very active. They've got the likes of Dave O'Noffel and Gowie for the Perth Hogs. He played in the last season, but uh, no, not for very long within the season. It was only in the last couple of rounds and missed out on a finals appearance. And likewise, we got for Rex Buckingham for the Melbourne Ravens. You know, once again, a solid player. Got a bit of more experience in the mines last season, but quite not as much as we saw from the previous game in the Firehawks. And the Swan is it's going to be the last tackle now. Bakers goes right down to the wing of Andrews. And Andrews is going to take a good kick return here. And that's a good start of the set for the Perth Hogs. Good return there from Andrews. A good start to the set there from the Ravens as well. Moving up field, using their forwards. Getting a line break there from their centre as well. As uh, Buckley breaks the team over the 40. Yeah, they're putting some shots on already in this game. Both sides. Oh, good ball. Looking to one. And that's very good ball out to the wing of Harris Andrews. It's going to be Johnny Docilich having to reel him in. Uh, Docilich, rather. As we have Buckley brought down just before the 30 now. It's the fourth tackle. Callahan inside ball to Wilma. Doesn't get very far there. It's number 10, Sticks McGee bringing him down. Going to go right here, Keller. As McDade is going to put in a decent kick there. And, oh, it looks like Phil Burden's taking this in. Oh. And he's <laughs> Phil Burden has taken this touch in goal here. And the Perth Hogs will get some good field position off this uh, off this dropout. Well, Hogs here looking to put on the pressure with first opportunity here by the Ravens' mistake there on their goal line. They're about 35 out. I reckon hopefully maybe the Hogs might have a first points in them here. We saw a similar thing happen in the previous game with the Swarm. I think it was the man, Hone King, that took it into touch for them. And now, oh, as we have Jesse Kelly pulling a bit of a Joey Marnie oh, there. And he's tricked them there. I don't know. I think the Ravens were a bit confused. I thought they pulled. He thought he pulled. Oh, and we have Big Mav Keller straight oh. through the middle. And he's put it down. That's a good start for the Perth Hogs there. Beautiful work try there. As soon as that drop kick went, they're just going down the side. And uh, the winger got around the, the, uh, his opposing uh, winger there. He's got his team very good meters. And that's a beautiful break tackle there and just got over straight away. Have you seen the size of the Ravens fullback? Yeah, Johnny Dodrilich is a very big fullback indeed. I think he's standing at over 200 centimeters tall. He's a big unit as we have Bradley Callahan looking to make the lead. More than six points. I feel bad there for Felix Stoder. He, uh, for all money there, he thought his teammates had him covered. And then he had to come and try and cover that tackle last second. But he couldn't stop Big Mav Keller that close to the line. The Netherlands international just being so strong in the hooker position. As we have John Bakers looking to kick off here for the Ravens. Yeah, that was very well worked try there from the Perth Hogs. And... Um, hopefully they're going to be able to keep the momentum on here, put the pressure on. But um, the Ravens, they need to watch their backs here and just make sure they can contain them in this first set. Yeah, as Buckley <laughs> gets a bit of meterage there, straight through a gap. The Ravens closing it pretty quickly. Keller goes right to Callahan. Daly now 
Justice Dahlia, late comer into the Perth Hogs side, but, you know, he's a big boy and he's a solid prop as we have Yigon Makuzzi. Oh! oh! And he gets it in. <laughs> intercepted by Flynn. That's Riley Flynn there, I believe. Yeah, absolutely it is. That is intercepted there. He's a late comer into the Ravens again. And now the Ravens with a chance to put points on the board. Oh, a wide pass out to Dune, and it looked like... I don't know who that was passing it, but... He looked like he had a bit of meterage that he could have just gone straight through the gap and gotten a great few meters. Oh, and great ball there to Cameron King. Inside offload to McClucky. Michael McClucky, very very unlucky rather to be brought down there. Buckingham going to Stoda. Stoda goes to Phil Burden. Burden can't get oh, around the Hogs defense. It's going to be the last tackle here. They're about five meters out from the line. What will the Ravens do? It's going to be Bill Lee. Passing it to Buckingham. Buckingham's put an awkward kick up and it's gone straight into the back of his fellow teammate as Wilma gets driven back there. And Cameron King putting on a massive shot. What a tackle there on the short side there by the Hog Center. That was much needed. That was short. And he drove that player back over the 10. But um, trying to get out of trouble here, the Hogs. And as uh, McKay does a, does a very good run there for his team. Hopefully um, they're able to get a good kick in. Yeah, it was disappoint disappointing stuff there from Rex Buckingham oh, on the last tackle Wilma as we have through. Wilma doing some great running here. Yeah, the big fullback out back, uh, ready to take him down at every chance. Mika Rashford now through the line. Johnny Docilich struggling to get over there. Docilich rather. Sorry, keep on mispronouncing that name. As we have Rashford playing the ball, it's the last. 25 out now from the opposition try line. Callahan putting in a grubber. It's picked up by Buckley with an offload there, but Mig Big Mav Keller, he can't make it two tries, and he's put on his back there. That was a good lead up there by the Hogs, but unfortunately, fifth tackle error, miscommunication. As, uh, oh, King straight through a gap, getting some good meters early in the set for the Ravens. Good stuff there from Cameron King. We have Stoder now, Felix Stoder. Taking a run. Good good post-contact meters there. The forwards for the Ravens have been looking pretty solid so far. Cameron King, as I say, they've driven back in the tackle. Big Mav Keller, one of the defenders in that one. They go right now. John Baker's inside ball to Dochalich. I thought he was a forward himself by the size of him, but he's playing fullback. Sticks McGee now. Driven back in that tackle. It's going to be the last. Not making too many meters now, the Ravens. So look to see what they do. is. The Hawks. Buckingham goes to Bakers. That's a very good set there from the Hogs. As we have Harris Andrews now. Stepping around one. Can't get around Dokulic. Oh. And he's brought Hard down just the before Ravens the 40. There. Nearly sunk right into their chest. That's a good return there from Andrews. As our Callingham getting some nice meters for his team. It's about second tackle. They're on the 40. Hoping to uh, put some more pressure on him and maybe get a repeat set or get a penalty. Indeed, as we have Keller going right, Nofflin Gowie, oh, Cameron King reels him in. And I think it was Michael McLucky around the legs to stop him. They go right, Wilma now. Straight through, 45 out, oh, sorry, 35 out from the opposition try line now. As he's going to play the ball, Keller at the back there, Augustus McDade. He's going to kick it to Thomas Usher. Usher steps one, Usher can't get around Nofflin Gowie. And that is very lucky there. He's got a bit of pace there on the edge. Thomas Usher. Oh, it's Burns oh, now through the line. That's great ball there. Oh, and it goes straight to McDade. Oh. And the Ravens have spilled their the great opportunity to get points on the board. I was about to say, as the second row there cut, cut me off, uh, Noffel and Gade showing his attack, but also his defense is holding up there as well. There's an amazing tackle from him on that kick return. But the Ravens there... An error, and um, the Hogs are straight back at it. Yeah, Wilmer taking another run there. He's taken quite a few already for the Hogs. He's a half by trade, but playing in the lock position tonight. We've got McDade now playing the ball on the 40. They're going to go right here. Callahan. Oh, straight through the line. Callahan passes oh. it back to Noffel and Gary. Noffel and Gary's going to get around him. No, he's not. Callahan gets an offload, but he's brought down there by, I believe it's their halfback, John Bakers. Yes, it is. He's going to play the ball. Rashford now puts in a grubber kick. It's Noffel and Gowie. He can't get the ball away. And Rex Buckingham <laughs> stops a certain try there for the Melbourne Ravens. The Ravens there. That was some desperate scramble. As, oh, Riggle straight through. And there's the fullback again in defense. The fullback for the Hogs has been all over the place at the moment. Trying to get his team on the front foot. 
and trying to get that pressure back and that momentum back that they had earlier in the first half. Absolutely, as we have Buckingham going to Dunan. Passes it wide. They're spreading the ball out here. It's Dokulic. Oh, he's broken one tackle. He can't break the second tackle. one. He is doing a phenomenal job there. We've got Usher stepping one. Inside ball. Bakers is looking dangerous here. It's only the fourth tackle now. They're 10 meters out from the line. Buckingham's at dummy half. They're going to go left. Riggle's going to take the last tackle of the set. It's going to be a settler there. Fifth and last. Buckingham. He's going to look over his left shoulder. It's Dune in there. Puts in a grubber. No, he doesn't. He knocks it on straight oh. into Buckingham. That's an opportunity blown there by the Ravens. They had an amazing opportunity to get some points back and even up the score. But unfortunately, they blew it again. Both teams not showing much communication in their fifth tackle options. But uh, the Hogs, the back of the grind, trying to get themselves out of their own end. Yeah, that, that was a phenomenal set there from the Ravens. Just great ball running as we have Wilma now straight through. Dokulic at the back. Ready to take him down. <laughs> the biggest fullback I've ever seen, but you know what? It's working. He's breaking a couple of tackles. He was down the sideline, and he got some extra meters for his team earlier. So whatever floats your boat, I guess, as we have Cox now going to play the ball on the 40. 41 meters gained for the Perth Hogs. So we have Callahan now. Kicking it down. It goes to Usher. Usher wants a good kick return. Steps one here. Usher's straight through the middle here. Gets reeled in by, I think that's again, oh. Darcy Wilmer. No, no, it's not. It's Zachary Brown, rather. As we have John Bakers now giving it to McQueen. McQueen doesn't get much field position off that one as he's brought down by Lachlan Cox. As we have Bakers going right, McClucky. On the 40 now, taken down. Going to play the ball. Rex Buckingham going left. Lincoln Riggle. Doesn't get very far there. They're going to need another good run if they want to Try and get some points on the board soon. It's the fourth tackle. McLucky now. That's a solid run there. They're 20 metres out from the opposition line. They're probably going to put up a big bomb kick here. I see Doonan setting up on that right side of Buckingham. And they go to him all right. That's a very high kick indeed. But it looks like no one's there. And Davo Nephilengawi takes that very easily. That was a good take there. And that was pretty much nothing kick there. There was no kick chase or nothing from the Ravens. Again, they did get the kick away, but they also need those chases running through so they can actually put some pressure on and hopefully force an error from the uh, Hogs. Yeah, you have Nuffle and Gary taking a run. It was a good take from him. No no one under pressure there. They probably could have aimed a little bit to the left, the Ravens, and they would have hit the post, put him under a bit more strife as they spread the ball wide to Nuffle and Gary, who is met by a wall of defense by uh, John Bakers. And I believe it was Noah Burns there. Rashford goes left. Yigal McCuzzy goes to Andrews. Harris Andrews steps the fullback, but he can't get around the centre in Riley Flynn. There. Oh, they are doing some phenomenal work out on that edge there, aren't they? As we have Keller Indeed. playing the ball 15 metres out from the try line. Callahan goes to Wilma. Wilma, that's a good kick there. Oh, it's a tap back, oh, but Buckingham's back. there. Look who's there. It's Rex Buckingham, the experienced oh. hooker. And once again, he stopped what could have been a bit of disastrous there for the Ravens. It's a beautiful bloody kick there and knocked it back straight into the hooker there of the Ravens. And now they're on the front foot as a wriggle oh. goes straight through the line. Offloads to Wilmo, who intercepts and Wilmer's away. It gets wrapped up by that 200 centimeter <laughs> fullback there at the back for the Ravens. Yeah, Wilmer just not quite having the pace to get around Dokulic. Is McDade now. He's going to play the ball. 10 metres out from the opposition try line. Keller goes left. Wilmer. Cox. The Perth Hogs with some great field possession. Only third. The five out. Yeah, there's Nuffle and Gowie. Oh, driven back in that tackle by Doonan. Good tackle. That's good stuff there. They go left now. Bryce Young goes to Cox. Cox driving. Dokulic. He needs some help. Dokulic gets oh, help, there. but I don't think it Cox. matters. Cox is over the line. Henry Perinaro is sending it upstairs. I think he's gotten this down. We're going to have another look at the angle. That's the ball on the ground there. Rex Buckingham and Dokulic. No chance to stop Cox that close to the line. And there we have it. The Perth Hogs with a 10-0 lead as Bradley Callahan is going to look to make it 12. Cox coming off the bench for his team and uh, 
helping the Hogs regain that momentum that they had early in the first half. And um, the Ravens, they're looking a bit fatigued here at the moment. Teams lacking, falling off tackles, more holes in their defensive line. Hopefully they can hold on until halftime and see what the coach has to say to them. Yeah, the Ravens will be disappointed with this first half performance. We'll be looking to see how they go. Hopefully getting some points before halftime as John Baker's gets the ball on the tee. <laughs> he looks over his right shoulder and he sees a mammoth of a man in Johnny Dokulic. And <laughs> he, is a, he is an absolute unit to be playing fullback. The Ravens will be kicking off now. I'm glad I'm not up in this box, okay, man. Oh, my gosh. Uh, don't fret, Eddie. They'll be playing him eventually as we have <laughs> as we have Brown taking the first hit up of the set there for the Hogs. We've got about seven minutes left on the clock for this half. The Ravens needs, need to put on a big shot or something to get the ball back and hopefully put some points on. My cousin now taking a run. Callahan, get inside ball now to Noffel and Gowie. Well read there from the Ravens. Beautiful Very stuff. well read. We saw how that destroyed the line earlier in the Firehawks versus Swarm game. As we have Mercuzzi now playing the ball on the 40. Callahan. Oh, Buckingham taking straight out of the air. Early kick. Oh, what a beautiful take there by Callahan. Um, not Callahan. Sorry, Buckingham. And that's exactly what they need, I think, to get back in this game. About five minutes. Minutes left here, four and a half, and the Ravens here, they've got a perfect chance here to go to tries. There goes that big fullback, 15 metres out here. It's now or never for the Ravens if they want to get back into this game. So if Baker's taking the line on, it's the third tackle, now the fourth. It's got Big Mav Keller taking him down. They go left. Stoda, crash play, unsuccessful. Buckingham. Now or never, Kay. Buckingham, what's he going to do? He's going to go left. Doonan puts up a very high kick. Is anyone there to take it? It's Dokulic, the 200 oh, centimetre fullback. fullback. He's taken it out of the air and he's put the Melbourne Ravens straight back into this game. Oh my gosh, Kay. We could never see this coming and it's the fullback. We've been talking about him all game and he's finally decided to test himself in the, in the air against his opposition. That was a beautiful take there. And also the skill to put it down as quick as he did. There were so many defenders around him. Well done there from Dokulic. Yeah, that is phenomenal stuff there from Dokulic. I'm very impressed with how he's done that. Oh, oh. as Baker just fades it away to the right. The lead will be eight points. Yeah, Dokulic just flying above the rest of them. I'd expect so at the high that he's standing. He's got, he's got about three meters taller than Josh Pratt, I reckon. He's just that big. He's just that big as we have... Callahan looking to kick off is just under, just over two minutes rather, of this first half left in the game. Callahan's going to kick off and it goes to Baker's. Baker's shifts it to McQueen. As we look to end this first half, that is phenomenal stuff from the Ravens. An extraordinary try. As we have McClucky now, not getting around the Perth Hogs defence. They're going to need something special if they want to. Get anywhere near the try line, but I don't think they will with just over a minute left in the half. As now we have Buckingham going left. Doonan, outside ball. Dokulic on the outside. Burden can't get anywhere there. Phil Burden struggling. Halfway, it's fourth tackle. Stoda. It's going to be on the 40 now. It's going to be the last play of the half, I think. As Buckingham goes right. Doonan puts in a kick down to the wing of Harris Andrews. That's the halftime hooter. Ravens need to watch oh. here. Anything could happen. Oh, Harris oh, Andrews oh. breaks the tackle, but he's taken oh. down, luckily. Oh. And it's four points to 12 at the halftime break. The Ravens uh, at the disadvantage. We'll see you in the second half.
Welcome back to the second half of the SRL Mines game. It's the Melbourne Ravens taking on the Perth Hogs. If you're just joining us now, it's the Melbourne Ravens 4, Perth Hogs 12, as John Bakers looks to kick. Uh, the first half saw Maverick Keller score, and I think it was Nuffle and Gowie as well. And as we have uh, Dokulic just trying to tie it up, well, not tie up the game, but make the game closer near the end of that first half. How do we feel about the Melbourne Ravens' performance in that first half, Eddie? Well, to being honest, the first 35 minutes there from the Ravens was pretty just standard footy, and they just looked like from the very beginning of the game they were just holding in there. But um, they forced an error there from the Hogs, and they took absolutely amazing advantage of that, getting their full back over with a beautiful contested uh, kick in the air. Hopefully they're able to use him again in the second half. As we have Callahan with the early kick. Callahan. Inside the 40, the winger needs to get back. He does. Phil Burden just making it there in time and tries to step the center but can't quite get around him. That was very close to being a 40-20 there. Yeah, it was a good early kick there. I'd be interested to see what the coach said to the Ravens in the shed after the first half about that first half performance. Hopefully they've learned some stuff and hopefully they've uh, planned a strategy of how to combat this um, Hogs attack in the second half. Yeah, I think that the coach was a little bit disappointed with that first 20 or so minutes, and then they started heating up a bit after that as McCuzzy oh, has, has the job of taking down the very big fullback of Johnny Dokulic as Bakers now puts it down to the right side with Jesse Kelly, who's driven back in the tackle there. Yeah, no, the Ravens are looking like they've calmed down a bit now, and they easily marched upfield there. They weren't close enough to do anything attacking-wise, but they got a good kick in, and um, now they're just hopefully to defend and force them to their kick. Absolutely, as we have Pratt taken down. He's going to play the ball. There. They go left, Daly. Justice Daly, like I said, a late comer to the Perth Hogs camp, but nonetheless, a welcome one. McDade kicks it straight into oh. the back. Of my cousin, and I'm a bit perplexed why the Ravens didn't take the two. Well, uh, the same thing happened towards the end of the first half, and the Ravens of it. Let's see what they're able to do it here within uh, the Hogs uh, 20. Yeah, the Ravens with great field position here. Hopefully, they show the same spark they did at the end of that first half as they go wide. Bakers taking on the line. He probably could have given it to his center on the. The, his opposition the center came off his there. line. McClucky. Good tackle. Driven back in that tackle there. Nuffle and Gary forced to take him down. They go right. Riley Flynn pushing. Flynn's pushing. No one's there. No. Oh, my cousin comes around the legs. Oh. And he's going to be put on his back. The Melbourne Ravens extremely close to scoring here. And the ball Did all well wrapped there, up my there. Cousin. Just at the last second there to get around the legs of that center. It's going to go up as no try, but the Ravens here still got a chance. It's only fourth. Only fourth now as McGee driving forward in that one. It's the fifth and last. Bucking and look over his left shoulder. Who's there? It's Doonan. Doonan's not going to be able to do much here. Doonan is going to be able to oh, do no. much here. I think the Hogs thought that they had him covered, but no one went in to help. Maverick Keller standing there, not even helping the newcomer daily. And it looks like the little 5 8 has scored his first SRL Mines try. Wow, good on him. Round of applause. He's gotten the Ravens back into the game, and that's what they needed. First points of the second half, so they're going to have a chance to get against this perp attack. And it's looking to even out here about 50 minutes into the first half. We'll see what will happen after this kickoff. John Baker is looking to improve on his kicking. Missed the last kick. And hopefully making this only a two-point lead rather than a four-point lead. It was just, a, it was a weird try there um, from Tyler Doonan. Like, he's very strong, and he's, he's a formidable opponent, obviously. But against a big body like Justice Daly, he had no right to put that ball over the line. I think the Perth Hogs will be a bit disappointed. All in the legs. <laughs> it's all in the legs. All he just, the got, legs. just got underneath him and uh, just tried to turn the hog upside down. As so we have Callahan, he's going to be kicking off here to the Ravens. I'll be happy to get the ball back and hopefully get some good field position off this first set. It's Dokulic, and he gives it to King. Cameron King, oh, bumping off good one. Good return there. That is a very good return there from the Ravens. Hopefully good signs for this set. 
Turn in goes to McLucky. And I'm mean, lucky again this team over the 30 here. Ravens, it's looking a bit more of an even contest here now as it goes out to Flynn and Flynn's through the line. Gets wrapped up by the fullback there by the Hawks. Flynn, very, very good on that right edge. He almost scored a try earlier. Just in that last set there is Renoa Burns now straight oh. through a gap. Nofalin Gowie can't get to him, but slows him down enough with the goose step that was required. Watch it here. Anything Bucking him out dummy half. from dummy half. It's going to be Dokulic. In the dummy half roll now. He's going to look over his left shoulder, I think, and find Doonan. No, he's going to switch up and go to Bakers on the right. Bakers puts a very oh. high kick. Riley Flynn takes it, but doesn't get an offload away. No. And that's a that's an all right end to the set for the Melbourne Ravens. Yeah, the Ravens put themselves in a good spot here. Looking to back their defense here. Hopefully, hoping to uh, force um, the Hogs here to their kick and hoping to get back into their rhythm of attack. But uh, the markers are offside here as uh, Wilma gets an extra couple of meters there for his team. The Hogs here now trying to get their trying to get their side out of their half and hoping to put in a good kick. Absolutely, is that Andrews now driven back in that tackle there? Riley Flynn just everywhere in defense on that left edge. He's been busy tonight with how the Hogs are using that left side. The likes of uh, Miko Rashford and Harris Andrews both being speed demon archetypes. It's a bit of a worry to come up against. Luckily, uh, he's been all over them. As we have McDade playing the last. Wilma's going to put in a kick now. He goes out to the edge of Thomas Usher. Usher steps one. Usher! Oh. He gets around off Lingawi. Thomas Usher! He's got a bit of pace. And oh. look, I don't know what he's going to do here. I think Rashford's got his covered. No, he's they've covered. No, he's broken the tackle. He's, he's going to go over. Oh. And the Ravens, they're right in the game. They take the Usher. lead the way there there's no stopping him once he's gone in full flight Thomas Sasha what a bloody run there from the winger and getting the Ravens into the front here well and we were sitting here Kay, thinking that this was just gonna be an even contest for the next 20 minutes but uh, Usher proving us wrong and uh, gets his team in front Wow Thomas Usher not even a speed demon archetype a fender bender rather outrunning the likes of Miko Rashford and Harris Andrews, that is phenomenal stuff there. Getting around Noffel and Gary, that was just an incredible try there from the Ravens. And yeah, <laughs> just wow, just wow. No we have the it. live replay of that try and just the way he ran. That, oh, <laughs> wow. The Ravens, no that, okay. <laughs> there are no words for it. That is the best of the SRL minds. Thomas Usher just showing off some pace. And I don't know how he got around them there, but he did a phenomenal job. The Melbourne Ravens with a four-point lead now. Putting 12 points on in 14 minutes is a pretty good feat there for the Melbourne base side. Who would have thought this first half and the Ravens were just being shown off by the Hogs? Beautiful defense and attack, but the second half and a couple of penalties given to them, a couple of... Calls by the ref go on their way, and this whole game is turned around for the Ravens. Absolutely, and no better place to have it than at your first game at your home ground, Amy Park. It's absolutely packed tonight as Baker's taking a run. It's the fourth tackle now. As we have McLucky taking a settler there, getting an extra 10 metres or so for his team before they're going to kick it. They need some good defence off this kick return. Oh, and they need a better kick than that. My cousin now straight oh. to the line. And it's that man, Dokulic, having to reel him in again. Oh my god, my lucky man, you've got a lot of balls to run at that fullback. <laughs> oh, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, As uh, Buckley <laughs> there takes a the settler. Looking a bit expansive here, the Hogs. And they're going to gonna go right again. And then inside here to the fullback. Gets his team just before the uh, Ravens 20. So you have Callahan taking it straight up the middle. Sticks McGee having to... Pull him down, just in the 10, fourth tackle, they go left, Wilma spreads it to Rashford, Rashford steps, and Rashford's in oh, Rashford. for the Perth Hogs! That is phenomenal! He just stepped on the l off the right boot, and just got around the player that I've been upping so much, Riley Flynn, stood no chance against him. What a kick coming up here from Callingham to get his team in front, it's nearly about 20, 23. 22 minutes left in this game, and this could be the kick that decides who wins. Absolutely, if we look at the live replay, 
We'll see how Callahan goes. Oh, did he... It's come back. No, it hasn't. It's faded away to the right side. He's tried to swing it too much. It is fairly windy out here at Amy Park, and he misses it in the same way that John Baker's missed his first kick. Oh, we've got a game on here at the moment here, okay? 16 all, 20 minutes left. Not anything can happen. Anything can happen. We've seen some incredible stuff in the mines before with such tight games. And since moving to the 13 aside format, I'm not too sure how it'll go. Nuffle and Gowie passing the ball. Oh, it's a knock on oh. off the kickoff. And that is a drastic error there as the Ravens go to work. No! They've oh. been put a shot on. Who was that? I don't know who put that shot on. I think it was. And geez, the Perth Hogs are just off the hook there. Gosh, I can I felt that up here in the commentary box. Will my by the looks of it on that replay there. What a hit that was on on the bloody I don't know, man. That that was oh. too that was too much for me. That was an intense hit there, oh. bone rattler, if you will. As we have Wilma spreading it to my cuzzy. Hogs here trying to get out of trouble. <laughs> yeah. Well, they were in all sorts. They were in all sorts of trouble when the Ravens had that ball for about half a second. Before they spilt their lollies. Keller goes right. Callahan. Oh, an awkward kick there. Dokulich oh. comes onto it full pelt. Oh, he, here he goes. He looks oh. he looks slow when he runs, but it's just because he takes such big strides. And oh. there's a penalty there. The Hogs have given the Ravens a penalty. Holding down in the tackle, and that is not good stuff there. Doonan here trying to get his team into some good field position. Hopefully to get a, a beautiful attacking set going here for the Ravens. The Hogs, it's now or never. They've got to hold out here. Otherwise, it's their first game of the Mines over. Absolutely. As we've got McClucky now going left. Bill Lee driven oh, back in that tackle. tackle. I think that's Josh Pratt on that right side there. Doonan shifts it to King. Can't get anywhere there, King. He's taken down by my cousin. John Baker's, Dokulich, Usher. Usher can't get around Ooh. on that right side. He's already scored a try tonight. Can't get another one for his team quite yet. Buckingham goes left. McGee. He's going to be taken down on the 10 here. Will be interesting to see. Buckingham. He's going to be in the dummy half roll. Goes left. Baker's. He's going to put in a bomb off the left boot. It's very, very shallow. And Jesse Kelly takes that very comfortably. Take. Oh, they need to watch him here. Oh, that fullback. Oh, my gosh. Dokulich. That was a beautiful take there from Kelly and just saved this team. Got some good uh, meters there as well to get them out of the trouble. About 25 out here of their own line. Maybe looking for an early kick. Josh Pratt straight through. Makes it to the 50. Dokulich bringing him down. He's been phenomenal tonight so far. Dokulich. He's got 15 minutes left in the game to prove what he's made Cox of. Cox coming back on for his second stint here. Maybe trying to get the Hogs back into the game. We never know. Buckley, straight through Buckley. Gets rounded up by the fullback. 20 out. Well, this is it here for the Hogs. Putting in the kick here. In the pocket it is. Last tackle, 20 metres out. Callahan puts up a very high kick. Oh. And Dokulich, to no one's surprise, takes that over about every player on the Hogs team. Buckingham goes to Stoder, who takes it to the 20. Buckingham goes right this time. Doonan spreads it to Dokulich. Steps one through the middle. Dokulich, he just looks so slow when he's running, but I can tell you right now, if we put a radar on him, he's absolutely streaming down the line. McGee now, straight through. He's going to play the ball on the just beyond the 50. McQueen. Looking to get some meters, but he can't get very far around Big Mav Keller. They can play the ball. Doonan puts a kick down to the right wing of Jesse Kelly. Kelly can't get around Bill Lee. And that's a... from the Ravens. Yeah, it's a great chase there, and we'll see how the Perth Hogs start this set. You know, very good chase there from the Ravens, and looking to hold the Hogs here down in their half, but... The Hogs have got anything to say about it. They're going to come their way up. There's the fullback there. Gets around one. Gets his team to the 40. Need to watch it here, the Ravens. Absolutely. And I think that we'll start seeing oh. people take attempts at field goals soon. Around the 70-minute mark, players usually start thinking about that. As Mike Cuzzy now 
It's the last run of the set. John Baker's joined with no Burns. From not from out here, mate. Not from nah, like there. <laughs> as Burns oh! takes it mid air, and I think that's a little bit better of a start to the set than what the Ravens would have had planned if it was one of their backs Bakers. had to take it. Getting just his team some much needed field position here. Well, oh. if the Ravens keep going up the field here. Oh, that was a questionable pass. It was. It was. As we've got Buckingham going left, Doonan goes to Stota now. He's going to play the too ball. Too far out earlier. What will you give him here to get it from here, Kay? Absolutely. They'll, they may have a shot yet. It looks like it, it may be... I'm not sure who, who's playing lock right now, but it may be him setting up. No, it's Doonan. And he goes for the field goal. He snapped it. Oh, Tyler oh, Doonan. Nailed it. He's nailed it off the left boot from about 25 oh, out. And the Ravens, 17 to the Perth Hogs, 16 through a field goal. That is great stuff there from the Melbourne team. There's still time here, Kay. Never say die for the Hogs, but the Ravens, that was well planned out. They made their meterage. They used their forwards to get upfield, and they took the shot. They took their chances. But are the Hogs here? It's never say die, but the Ravens are going to try and uh, take this win from them here with about uh, seven minutes left. They just need to hold on to the ball as King bumps off one. That looked like a rugged... Run absolutely smashing into the defensive line. Dokulic going around them instead. Oh, <laughs> here he goes. Nuffle and Gowie having to bring him down. Nuffle and Gowie's not a short person either. He's about 190, I believe, from memory. Arm. But uh, he's just absolutely towered over by Dokulic. We so have Burns now driven Good back there. there from my cousin. Absolutely. Driven in that tackle, Noah Burns. Buckingham goes to Bakers, spreads it out to Doonan. Doonan straight through a gap, breaks the tackle. Doonan. Maybe they'll go for another field goal oh. here. Probably not, but I guess we'll see. Buckingham goes right. It's McQueen putting up a very high kick. Not much chase there. They let it bounce. They let it bounce. Not for Lengawi's caught in goal. Oh, what a tackle. And what a kick there from Lightning oh, McQueen. Who would have thought that the young lock had it in him? What a beautiful kick. Nobody was there to contest it there. And the Hogs, they're going to have to drop out here. It's a good drop kick, though. About 45 it lands. And uh, we'll see what the Ravens do here with about four minutes left. It was that experience playing uh, half where he usually is playing Lightning McQueen. Put up a very big kick, and I don't know why the Hogs let it bounce. It looked like someone, like someone was very close to going to the ball and just putting it down, but he was just stopped by the goalpost, I believe. Or uh, someone running back just in the way. It's a third tackle now. They spread it out to Burden. Oh, Burden steps. He goes for the line. Oh, weaves Burden. inside. Oh. And he's gone over the line. Okay. Good night, he says to the Perth Hogs. As the Ravens are going to run away with a win. What a try there. I called it. <laughs> going down the short side here, Burden. And he just sweeps around the fullback. Who's been defending there all day, all game. And he's finally missed one, made, made a misjudgment there, unfortunately. But Baker's here, put his team seven points in front, and that's going to be the end of it here. Good night there to the Hawks. Phil Burden, what a try from him there. It would be disappointing for Nuffle and Gowie. He actually tricked me. I thought he was going straight for that corner for a bit of an acrobatic finish, but he just came back off that left boot inside, and Nuffle and Gowie stood no chance. As that's going to be it for the Perth Hogs, I believe. If we look at the replay on that try and just weaving before diving on that line. Great stuff from the Melbourne Ravens. To be able to come back as well, that's a 19-point turnaround this half compared to a four points for the Perth Hogs. It's a beautiful try there from uh, Burton. And um, the one that's just ended the game here for the Hogs, unfortunately. There's always next week for the Hogs, but... They were looking good in the first half there, the Hawks, but the Ravens, well, you know, we, we knew that both teams always had it in them, the Ravens here, they've just come out of the sheds at halftime and just put on an amazing display. Yes, yeah, so Dokulic, he's been phenomenal tonight. He's been absolutely everywhere, playing the ball at the 35. Goes to John Baker's, about 40 seconds left on the clock here. Buckingham goes to Flynn. Flynn off the right boot. Puts a very big kick in. Oh, That's a massive kick from Flynn. Matt Burden-esque as Nuffle and Gowie's brought down. The final siren okay. going 23-16. to 16. 
the Melbourne Ravens coming away with the victory over the Perth Hogs. And that was a phenomenal comeback, if we've ever seen one in the SRL Mines. Very impressive from the Melbourne Ravens. And we look at some of the statistics here. And wow, it's Dune and Usher, with the of the match. Keller with player of the match. I think there was a couple people that could have... Rex Buckingham had a phenomenal game, and so did Johnny Dokulic, the two closest to Mav Keller's score. As we look here at the run meters... Thomas Usher with 172, and that a lot of them coming from that one big run that he did for the length of the field try. Buckingham with 163, and Dokulic, I'd like to mention, or Cameron King, obviously great and prop, with only 62 minutes, 136 metres. Dokulic, 134, great stuff there from him. Keller, 173, 67 pa passes, but they just couldn't get over the line there, I don't think, the Hogs. Yeah, unfortunately, there for the Hogs, they're not able to uh, get the win here today. But both teams have proven themselves, and the Hogs have proven that it's just one call that can decide the game. And the Ravens got that call there today. It's always next week, and I'm sure that these two will face each other again later in the season. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us today. This has been the SRL Mines Round 1. We'll see you next Monday for the Round 2 of the SRL Mines. I've been your commentator, SRL Mines Commissioner Will K. Join in the commentary box by Eddie Oliver. We'll see you next game.